The Supreme Court has set January 5 to deliver its ruling on whether the whole High Court should be stopped from hearing a case filed by residents of Santo Kofi, Akpafu, Likpa, and Lolobi Sal calling for a rerun of the Hohoi constituency election. This was after it heard legal arguments for nearly two hours from lawyers for the parties, Deputy Attorney General Gofred Dame Yabwa, and the man many have tagged as a legal luminary, Chachi Chikatan. John Peter Meu won the election on December 7. But the residents say the EC's failure to create a constituency for them and the prior creation of a new region that saw the area fall within the OT region meant their rights to vote were curtailed. Court correspondent Joseph Akable has the rest of the story. The hearing commenced on Monday uh, with lawyer for the South resident, Church Chikata, informing the court that uh, he wants a member of the panel to recuse himself. Uh, this is Justice Clemens Honyanuga, who he described as having a long-standing relationship with the Hohoi MP elect, uh, John Peter Amewu. And so uh, the justice was asked by his colleagues on the bench as to whether there's any merit in that allegation. And he said, no, he has no such friendship with the energy minister. Afterwards, Mr. Chikata then proceeded to raise the objection, saying that uh, because the justice has failed to recuse himself, he's formally requesting of the court to decide on whether or not he recuses himself. He said he was prepared to call on witnesses that will prove that indeed there was that long-standing relationship between the energy minister and the justice of the Supreme Court. A deputy attorney general now, Godfrey Diabo Adame responded in open court that uh, there's no evidence backing the said allegation. And in fact, for such a request to even merit a trial, it ought to come with some evidence in the form of statements that point onto the nature of the relationship. But since that has not been attached, then there's no point in the court heeding to that particular request. Uh, the five-member panel went for break for about 35 minutes and came back with the decision that just Honyanuga remains on the panel, indicating that in terms of the interest of Mr. Mewu in this particular case before the Supreme Court, it was too remote because one, he was not an interested party in this particular case that has been filed, and secondly, the case related to a jurisdiction issue which is the question on whether or not the whole high court has the legal mandate to hear the case that involves mr Mewu at that high court the panel then proceeded to hear the main issue that relates to uh, the case that has been filed by the attorney general's office uh, mr gofredi Adami for 20 minutes urged the court to stop the whole high court from proceeding to hear the matter insisting that the residents of sal do not have voting rights in the hohoi constituency and that if there's any constituency where they ought to have issues it has to do with the brim constituency he said as far as his office is concerned it holds the view that the ec had in not allowing them vote in the brim constituency since the court in june stated in clear terms that Sal cannot fall within the Hohoi constituency. And Mr. Chikata, who then requested to argue for an hour and a half, told the court that the AG has accepted that some rights have been breached and so the court should allow the High Court that is properly clothed with the power to determine such matters to deal with it. Uh, the court, after hearing uh, both sides, agent proceedings to uh, January 5th to deliver its judgment. It has allowed Mr. Chikata 8.30 a.m. to file additional documents if it's minded to do so, while the court says by 12 noon it will deliver its ruling, being mindful of whatever documents that Mr. Chikata may file will be incorporate, incorporated into the judgment of the court. If it requires it to take some more time, then that decision will be rendered at 2 p.m. on January 5. So this is what transpired at the Supreme Court. Reporting for joining us from the Supreme Court, my name is Joseph Akable.